Welcome to Beer and Politics. Today we're going to discuss why the statement, criminals don't follow the law, is a lazy pro-gun argument. This argument really comes down to confirmation bias and what it implies. Confirmation bias is the act of searching for information that supports one's pre-existing beliefs. In this case, what is being implied, or perhaps entirely overlooked, are the pre-existing beliefs that laws don't work. How do we know laws don't work? Because of all the criminals. That's what they're really saying. And that's because of confirmation bias. The confirmation bias allows one to only hear 100% of criminals have committed a crime. Well, yeah, and 100% of lottery winners have won the lottery, but that's not the point. The point is whether we believe that laws work to stop criminals, or whether we believe the lottery works as a money-making endeavor. Sure, if you're a criminal, laws don't work. And if you are a lottery winner, the lottery does. But isn't that a really stupid way to look at things? Now, just a second ago, I stated we needed to decide if laws work to stop criminals. That's actually not true. That's what those who say criminals don't follow the law want you to believe. What we actually need to do is decide if whether laws succeed in deterring potential criminals. And the answer is yes, of course they do. Here's a quick example. The carpool lane. First, if we were being honest, haven't most of us broken that law before? Sure we have. But just imagine if there wasn't a fine involved, or rather, no penalty at all. Wouldn't we break the law a lot more? Of course we would. There you go. The law acts as a deterrent to potential criminals, i.e. us. This is a lazy backwards argument which needs to stop. And until next time, remember, it's just beer and politics.